I start my day halfway to my destination, camped on the shores of Lake Okeechobee. I'm amazed by the sheer size of this huge freshwater lake. It's like I've landed on the shore of some inland sea. I briefly consider going for a morning swim, but some of the local residents are already on the prowl, so I just enjoy my breakfast on shore. The town of Pahokee is nestled on the southeastern rim of Lake Okeechobee. Like so many other places in Florida, this area has seen its share of damage from a relentless series of hurricanes. Throughout Florida, buildings have been destroyed, dreams have been shattered, and lives changed forever. But the citizens of this state are proud and strong, and people are ready to face the future. I'd like to stay, but the Airstream rally begins tomorrow, so I set a course straight for Fort Lauderdale. For months, the weather has been sunny and warm. It could be too much of a good thing. Along the way, I see a reminder of what a drought can mean down here. This brush fire is out of control and headed in my direction. It's time to move on and pray for rain. My first task after arriving at the shopping mall in Fort Lauderdale, where the rally begins, is to make sure I have some shade. Now it's time to sign in. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Tom sent me over here. He said, this is where I register. That's right. Everything, um, Once I've signed up, I'm ready to meet my neighbors. My name is Susan. My name's Benita. Benita. So I'm going to tape this big monster that came in part by you. <laughs> what year is this? It's an 87. It's an 87. Mm -hmm. Now this is space. You have lots yeah. of space. Wow. There is, there is a big difference. And a toaster. I don't have yeah. a toaster yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new to this. This First is one uh, we got wouldn't pop up. So that we we like living company. in it. Uh -huh. Do you live in it all the time? No. No? no. Just, but, just for yeah. trips? Just some, for yeah. trips. Benita and her husband have one of the original Airstream motorhomes. They're retired and have been traveling across America for years. You'll be fine. Well, take a rest and I'll see you later. Bye. On the other side of my space is Diane, a much younger vagabond with a much smaller Airstream travel trailer. She's also willing to show me her digs. <gasps> now so that's a good light, yeah. Isn't that great? That's excellent. Yeah, there's one at the front too. Actually, it's a nice soft light. I've got good reading light, but I don't have a nice atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to design yeah, this thing something. Is terrible. Yeah. I didn't even use it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just too harsh. Wow, thank you. See ya. We've gathered together from all over the country. Our common denominator? a love for these shiny mobile homes known as Airstream trailers. In the morning, we'll all be heading to the Florida Keys, but right now it's time to get some shut-eye. After a communal breakfast and some departure instructions, I get a private performance from Tom, an Airstream veteran. Tom, his wife, and dogs have been to just about every rally in the last 30 years. He's got quite a collection of harmonicas and plays with the energy and heart of a self-taught musician. At 9 o'clock sharp, the exodus begins. 50 Airstreams will be leaving for the Florida Keys in three waves. Organizers have broken up the departure to make sure we don't tie up traffic on U.S. Highway 1, the road to the Keys. The Wally Byam Caravan Club is the organization of Airstream owners that sponsored this event. They're hardworking, dedicated, and in love with the idea of being able to take your home with you when you travel. According to folklore, Wally Byam's wife refused to go camping without a kitchen, so he designed a travel trailer that was beautiful, practical, and rolled down the highway like a stream of air. 
For 70 years, folks hauling these aluminum land yachts have been ambassadors of goodwill across this nation and around the world. It's a thrill for me to be part of that tradition. After a couple of hours on the road, I arrive at Big Pine Key. This will be our base camp for the next few days. The weather is sunny, breezy, and warm. I'm looking forward to exploring my new surroundings. Bahia Honda State Park is just across the bridge from where I'm staying. It's a great place for hiking, swimming, or snorkeling. The current is pretty strong today, so like these smaller fish, I stick close to shore. After my swim, I pump up my inflatable boat and head back to the marina where I've parked my truck. I'm hoping to meet some special friends right around sunset, and I don't want to be late. After a quick but refreshing shower, I head off to nearby Deer Key, a place that really lives up to its name. An endangered species, the Florida key deer is the smallest race of North American deer. Adults are less than three feet tall at the shoulder. These cute little critters were nearly hunted to extinction in the 1950s. The current population is estimated at about 300, and they're protected by law. As evening shadows grow longer, I slip out of my truck for a closer look. This group seems more curious than frightened by me. After a good night's sleep, I'm ready to continue to the very end of US Highway 1. It's the most popular destination out here. This is Key West, and it's got everything. Food, fun, and plenty of sun. I consider ordering the grilled alligator appetizer, but choose some delicious fried grouper instead. If you're headed this way, make sure you enjoy being with people. Lots of people. Key West is a mecca for fun-loving tourists who flock here in the winter. Speaking of flocks, there are hundreds of wild chickens that roam the island, adding something special to its charm. It's a funky town, all right, but I discover there are some traditional values. We sit away again in Margaret. Oh, Hill. don't you know something older than that? Well, you're in Key West. You're <laughs> supposed to sing Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> right? Yeah. You'll see folks from around the world enjoying the sights down here. And even a few locals. After a few hours of playing tourist, there are just three things that I want. Shade and music. Key lime pie. There's a traditional celebration at sunset on Key West that has a well-earned reputation for being wild and wacky. But my trip is drawing to a close, so I find a quiet spot to collect my thoughts and plan my next move. Don't go away. We've saved the best for last. Freewheeling will continue in just a moment. <laughs> 